Hey guys, I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to do a rant on the different versions of Sun Amy. So, yeah, let's do this. Um, I love the feedback you guys gave me on my other video where I ranted about the different Sally Acorn ships that's around and people ship them. Um, one more I did forget to rant about was Scourge x Sally. And my thoughts on that, I used to ship it, but now I don't ship it anymore. So, yeah. Um, later on, I might do a rant on the different versions of Amy Rose ships. You know, the different Amy Rose ships, not different versions, but different Amy Rose ships. So, stay tuned for that. If I happen to do that later on, I might not because I might be busy. So, just stay tuned. But the first one I'm going to do a rant about is Movie Sign Amy. Now, movie Sun Amy has been debated. It's unknown if Sun Amy will ever blossom if Amy were to appear in the second movie. Um, I've heard many people around YouTube claiming that she will appear in the second movie. And they said something about some people working on the movie that she might appear. We we really don't know. But if she does appear, it would be pretty cute to have some Sun Amy moments. But I'm I'm not really down for the whole thing saying that it will blossom i get that this is a different sonic but it's been years since tsunami has never officially happened although hints have been around so yeah i i just i don't know but i do like this version i just i really don't know if it will ever happen that's the thing um just a reminder, there there are going to be some fan-made ones because, again, these are, like, different versions of Sun Amy. So, I'm, I'm including fan-made ones, including, you know, movie Sun Amy because, you know, Amy has not appeared. And, like I said, there's been controversy that she will appear in the second movie. We just don't know. But if she does appear, it will be cute to have some Sun Amy moments. But I don't want to, I don't want it to be thrown in anti Sun Amy fans' face because, of course, there are many other people, um, like... Ray McNash and a lot of people that have been commenting under one of those videos that claim that Amy might appear in the second movie saying that they don't want her in the second movie instead they want Sally but I don't want Sally in the second movie to be honest um like I said before for Sally in my opinion I feel like she should just appear in the mobile games not all around movies and stuff like that I just I don't know I just that's just my opinion but if she if she did if Amy were like ever to happen to like appear in the movie then so i mean hints will be cute but i don't i don't know about it like officially happening if she were appear if she were to appear so yeah that's my thoughts on it i think it's cute um so anyway let's move on next one is gender bent son amy which is sonia not sonia <laughs> sonica x jamie um sonica x jamie it's a fan made ship. I really don't know what to think about this one because again, it's fan made, so I I really don't know what to think about it. Um, I started hearing about this ship when I watched Tales and Sonic Pals. I'm subscribed to the channel. Um, if you haven't already, you should look them up and subscribe. They make great content. They're very entertaining. Um, some some of the things I don't like about their content, they can be a bit cringy and like they've shown they've shown tail ring and thrown it in our face and. You know, I was like, I was so sad when they did not bring Cosmo back because <laughs> if you're watching this right now, please bring Cosmo and like do like some type of diva in our video. Do something like look up some look up some Tailsmo images because I've seen enough of Tail Rain. You know, um, when they brought Z Zo what's her name Zoe or Zooey on there. I kind of cringed too. You know, I don't know what it is. I just love Tails Mo. It's my favorite out of all Tails ships. So, <laughs> creators, if you do watch this, please, I'm begging you, please bring Cosmo back. <laughs> but this version, I think it's okay, but I wouldn't say I love it. I don't even ship it. I just think it's okay, but, you know, it's the same time. It's it's still Sonic but it's gender bent, so I just don't know what to think about it because it's Sonic if he was a girl and Amy if she was a boy. So I I don't I I'm sorry I just don't know I don't know what to think about this. So yeah, that's all I have to say about it. I don't hate it or like it, so I'm pretty neutral about this one. Um, anyway, guys, that's what I think about this one. Next one is Metal Sonic. Um, basically. 
Metal Sonic is not Sonic. Metal Amy is not exactly Amy. Um, but I put it in this list because it's basically still like Metal Sonic Amy. So I'm just going to put it in this list. Now, for me, I like it. Um, but I don't, I don't exactly ship it. I just like it. You know, that's it. Um, so yeah. Flame has talked about Metal Sonic Amy, but in his universe... Metal Amy breaks breaks up with Metal Sonic. But according to like actual Sonic, or if, if like in my point of view, I like it, but at the same time I just don't ship it. That's that's all I gotta say about this one. Metal Sonic X Rosie. Now the reason why I'm bringing this up, and I know, like I said before, Metal Sonic is not Sonic, but there are people who support this ship for whatever reason. I do not know. Um, because metal like I guess it comes from like the Christmas animation. But that doesn't that doesn't mean anything. Metal like Metal Sonic like was getting helped by Rosie. She was bring she was bringing him back to Robotnik. That does not mean that she likes him or he likes her. So I don't understand this because if I remember in Sonic CD, Metal Sonic ki kidnaps Rosie. So there's no, there's not knowing like. It's unknown what would have happened to her if Sonic did not know that she was kidnapped. And, of course, it's not going to be... It's not going to be that he's going to end up liking her. That's not going to happen. We know Robotnik is an evil guy. You know, one of the main villains in the Sonic franchise. So, or, aka Dr. Eggman, classic Eggman, whatever. So, I really don't understand the point of this ship. But people who ship it, I respect your opinion, but please let me know... Why do you support this ship? That's just my opinion. I really want to know why some people really like this ship because it does not make any sense at all whatsoever. And that's just my thoughts. I don't like it and I really hate it. So that's just my opinion. EXC Sonami. This is another fan made one. I, I don't. I like it, but just like the gender bent Sonami, I don't ship it. I just, well, not, not gender bent. I didn't say that on gender bent. I said I was neutral about the gender bent one. What did I say? Metal Sign Amy. Just like Metal Sign Amy, I'm neutral. I don't like or dislike it. I don't I just don't know what to think about it. Yeah. You know, not I'm not neutral. Why did I, what did I say on Metal Sign Amy? I said I like it, but I don't ship it. This is what I think about EXE Sign Amy. I like it, but I just don't ship it. It doesn't it's not there's not really a motivation for me to ship it because it's not real. It's just fan made. So I like it. I just don't ship it. So, yeah. anti Sunami. Basically, Scourge x Rosie. I did step before one of my videos that I don't ship an actual Sonic because she comes off as... Her character is just terrifying to me. But according to, like, the Flame Universe, yeah, it's fine. I don't ship it, but I like it in the Flame Universe. It's fine. But according to, like, actual Sonic, no. I don't like it. Um... I find Rosie's character to be, like, terrifying. And that's why in the actual Sonic, like, in the Archie comics, I prefer Scourge to be with Fiona. You know, that's that's what I think. So, like, in actual Sonic, for this ship, I don't like it. I prefer Scourge and Fiona. But if it were, like, if there were some changes to her character, if she weren't so, like, obsessive and stuff. But we're, we're talking about anti-Amy here. So, of course, her character is going to be like this. But, like, if her character wasn't so crazy, then it would be fine, I guess. That's just that's just what I think about it. Boom, son, Amy. Now, I love this version, and I ship it too. But, you know, yes, Amy is mature in this version. She is mature. I do like this version. There are many hints in the TV show. So, I can understand why so many people like this version rather than the modern Sonic Amy version because Amy is more mature, you know. She doesn't chase after Sonic, you know, she doesn't talk about how she loves Sonic because it was one time where Tails Robot was about to tell Sonic that Amy loved him, but she didn't want this to happen, so she told Tails to turn, off, turn it off. So, that just lets you know right then that she's shy to admit her feelings to Sonic. A little bit out of character for people who grew up around modern Amy in the games because she would tell Sonic right off the bat that she loved Sonic. You know, people who grew up around the anime Sonic X and all that stuff are not used to this, but 
I find this version to be fine. You know, it just gives you another perspective of how Amy would be if she was more mature. So I can learn to like like this version because when the TV show first came out, I was thinking to myself, yes, Sammy is is yes, there are gonna be Sammy hints. And right when I watched the show, I knew it. Sammy hints were like almost in every episode that I've seen when I've watched the show. So this version is fine and I ship it too. But for the people who don't like it, then I respect your opinion. Archie's telling me. Now, of course, this is not real. This is just fan art. You know, what it would be like if Sonic and Amy got together instead of Sonic and Sally in the pre super Genesis Wave, the Archie comics. We all know Sonic got rebooted. So that's why I keep saying pre super Genesis Wave because people are saying Sonic is with Sally in the Archie comics when it got rebooted. People need to think about that. But the thought of Sonic being with Amy with as a queen and stuff like that in this universe of Archie. I guess it's fine, but when, we, when we're talking about what actually happened in Archie in the pre super Genesis Wave, I don't ship it, okay? This gives off my perspective, like, Sonic and Amy did date, but it didn't last long. It, it really didn't, like, so, according to actual Archie, I don't ship it, but, like, this is, this is great fan art. Whoever made this, this is great fan art. I can see Sonic with Amy, you know, um... <clears throat> but the perspective of like the actual Archie, no, no, I I don't. It's not that I hate Archie, Amy. It's just there are many depictions in the Archie comics that were in the pre Super Genesis wave that made Sammy look bad. You know, um, making Amy look be like an eight year old, you know, with the ring of acorns and make her change her age to twelve. That's how that's that's how they want you to look in perspective and say that oh Sammy's pedophilia it's wrong, but looking at this if it was like fan made then yeah it's pretty good, but actual Archie, no, that's a no go for me. But anyway, again I love this fan art so whoever made this I love it. Martin Sammy. Now Martin Sam, I said Martin. I, Modern Sammy has been debated. You know, um, a lot of people say that modern Amy is like a psychopath, which is not true. She's not a yandere. I keep saying this time and time again. I make many vi videos defending this version so much. Like, no one can get enough of it. It just gets annoying, like, how people are saying this version is a yandere. If she was a yandere, then Sega would not even promote this character to be in the games. Yet, she's in the games to make people all around the world laugh. Um as the old version of her as we all know in the idw comics she has matured and people are saying she's like a sally clone or ripoff well really her character is just developing um sega has confirmed her development and maturity is just 100 percent canon nowhere does it say that sally acorn she's like a clone of sally acorn so like again like i said fans with nostalgia really need to stop people need to learn that sally acorn may come back but at the same time, it's most likely a chance she won't come back. But that's just life. You can't just force people to say, all right, we're, bring we're bringing this character back without an actual purpose. Like, why is she coming back? She needs a purpose. Um. So, yeah. But Marna Sammy, I like it. And I ship it, too. And people want to say it's illegal just because Amy's 12 and Sonic's 15. That's literally just three years apart. And Amy's just one year from teen. So, it doesn't make it illegal. Um. So... Just stop saying it's illegal, really. I don't understand why people are using that argument to try and debunk Sanami. Because clearly they don't. Like, my other video, you should check that out if you haven't already. Check out my video debunking Sanami being illegal. Because people, like, put mis misinformation into the word pedophile. And say that Sanami could be the pedophile if he was with Amy. I'm not saying that. No, no matter what age Amy is, Sonic can just be in love with Amy. I'm not saying that, but people just don't understand the meaning of pedophile. Or, you know, a pedophile is a person who has sexual desires towards children, okay? Is Sonic like that with Amy? No. And age also has a part to play in it, but according to age, it's not illegal. So stop using that. There have been many hints in the games, for example, like Sonic Unleashed, you know, stuff like that. There's been many hints in the games. Sonic X as well, which featured mod modern Sonami. So, yes, there's many hints circulating modern Sonami. Yet people say, oh, well, Sonic runs away from Amy. So there's no way that he likes her. And 
saying that he can't be shy because he's a hero. People can be shy. It's stupid to use the argument that he's a hero so he can't be shy. And people are saying that Amy loves Sonic because he's a hero? No. IDW debunks this. Amy t tells Sonic face to face that she loves him for who he is. So, all these people saying that she loves Sonic because he's, he's a hero, it's, it's a pretty stupid argument to me. But for the people who don't like this version of Sonic, I really respect her opinion. But all the stupid arguments against this one is not worth it. And it's pretty stupid because I can just debunk all of those things. One of them being saying this Sonami is pedophilia. Um, saying Amy's a yandere. First of all, Amy never killed any girls for Sonic ever. She may have yelled and Sonic Riders and all that stuff, but never before has she killed anyone. People are saying they're using Sonic heroes and stuff like that. Amy's character was taken, Amy's obsession was taken to extreme in that version. That's why I said before, I don't like that version of Amy. You should check out my video where I rant about the different versions of Sonic Amy. And I tell you, I don't like the Sonic Heroes versions of Amy because she's a bit out of character and her obsession is just taken to extreme. I don't like that version. Um, some say like she's a stalker and all that stuff. But really, a stalker follows you everywhere you go. They're watching around the corner. Does Amy do that? No. She wants to Sonic. I mean, right now, she doesn't do that. You know, she doesn't squeeze, hug him and all that stuff. But, just, all this stuff to try and debunk to Amy, I can just debunk it. Um, for the people who don't like this version, I respect your opinion. But, if you want my honest opinion, I like this version. So, yeah. Last one I'm going to rant about is Classic Sonic Amy. Now, Classic Sonic Amy, to be honest, when I was a kid, growing up, I used to like this version. You know, like I said, I grew up liking Sonic Amy, and I still like it to this day. Years later, I still like Sonic Amy. But this version, you know, looking up Classic Sonic's age, saying that, you know, he's 15. You know, his age has been debated. Some people saying he's, like, 11 um, since Sonic and Amy are, like, threes apart. But when you look, like... And many of the websites, when you look up Classic Sonic's age, it says 15. So, an 8-year-old with a 15-year-old, yeah, that's illegal. It's cute, I will say that, but I don't ship it. And I don't see any hints towards Sonic. Flame did make an argument saying that in Sonic City, when Amy ran to Sonic and hugged them and hearts were flying around, that that's a hint of Sonic. It really wasn't, because Sonic... Song didn't show any signs of being shy. He was just looking forward in the game. You know, you don't see you don't see him blushing or anything. So I I don't think there's no hints of Sanami towards this version. But I will say it's cute, but I I don't ship it. So yeah, and and you know that's all I gotta say. I think it's cute. Again, I think it's cute, but I just, I don't ship it. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't take this video the wrong way. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more of Alyssa the Cat rants and stuff like that. Um, Again, stay tuned if I like do a rant on the different versions of Amy Rose. Anyway, guys, I love you all so much um, and peace.